let's all read this word of god first kings chapter 3 verse 4 to 5 first kings chapter 3 verse 4 to 5 the king went to gibeon to sacrifice there the king went to gibeon to sacrifice there for that was the principal high place for that was the principal high place so the king solomon went to gibeon to sacrifice there because that is a very special principal high place and there is a speciality for that place solomon used to offer a thousand burnt offerings on that altar praise the lord praise the lord solomon used to offer a thousand burnt offering he used to celebrate offerings on that altar thousand burnt offerings thousand times he did this offering on that altar and he went there he went for sacrificing on that special place and then at gibeon the lord appeared to solomon in a dream by night and god said ask what i should give you praise the lord praise the lord just see when a place a place where he has done so many sacrifices offerings when he came to pray over there the lord asked him what do you want me to do for you i'm going to give you a special blessing special blessing my dear brothers and sisters holy masses holy eucharistic celebrations as many as possible offer it every day go for holy masses praise the lord praise the lord and when you come in front of that altar where you offered holy masses after holy masses thousands of holy masses then god will listen to your prayer god will ask you what you want me to do for you when he came and prayed on that place the lord heard his prayer the lord blessed him mightily praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters you can purify a place by praying 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 from and that area you know the divine retreat center this divine you care ministry this divine retreat center this was the benedictine abbey 1858 it was built and from then this was run by benedictine monks there were so many benedictine monks holy monks who lived in this in this monastery in this building where we are now they were here living praying they have a time table 8 hours prayer 8 hours rest 8 hours work that is their time table so they is to pray 8 hours every day in this building for the last from 1858 onwards until now until so therefore this place is consecrated purified hundreds and thousands of holy eucharistic celebrations were taken place in this place in this chapel where we are having this live streaming hundreds of thousands of thousands of holy eucharistic celebrations were taken place by the holy monks of benedictines they did it in this chapel and they used to come for morning prayer midnight prayer afternoon prayer evening prayer likewise eight hours a day every day to come and pray in this chapel where we are having this live streaming from 1858 onwards you can imagine almost nearly 200 years this chapel was consecrated by and prayed by holy monks therefore whenever people come and pray in this place instantly the lord is listening to them and god is asking them what you want me to do for you the lord is releasing them the moment they enter into this chapel and pray the lord's blessing is coming to them this there is now we are having the blessed sacrament exposed 24 hours and praying in this chapel and why all these thousands of people are receiving blessing because this is a place which is consecrated for the last 200 years nearly 200 years by so many holy monks and thousands of people and thousands of holy eucharistic celebrations were taken place on this altar on in this chapel and so many hundreds and hundreds of monks holy monks who lived here and died here they prayed in this chapel and that is why when king solomon came a place where a thousand sacrifice was celebrated and he came to pray there and god heard his prayer 
and instantly god said by that night and god said ask what i should give you ask what I, what i should give you praise the lord